since I'm sure someone's going to ask, how am I going to disassemble this? What we're going to do, we have a bolt here to remove. I'm debating whether to keep this motor mount and try and repurpose it so that we'll always have the ability to retension the V-belts. Uh, that is a thought. Uh, so, a couple of bolts here. That'll uh, take the tension off the, uh, that'll take all the tension off the motor. We'll be able to take the belt off. The uh, uh, cat fly, the pulley here, uh, we'll just have a couple of bolts uh, to remove along here. Uh, it should come off pretty easily. Uh, we will have to get some, uh, some new bearing blocks. Um, I'm not sure if I am willing to... Re oh, wait. These bearing blocks are not what I was expecting. They are not integrated to the uh, cage here. So those bearing blocks might be able to be reused. But we will want to uh, disassemble and remove the cage from the bar here. Uh, that won't be too hard. A couple of bolts. Uh, this might be, uh, yeah, there's a couple of um, spot welds right here. And it looks like maybe a couple of spot welds there as well. Uh, nothing that an angle grinder can't attack. Uh, I'd filmed the whole process of dis disassembling this. Unfortunately, as you can see, I'm just hand holding my uh, phone. So it's a little difficult to uh, do that at the same time. And the I have a mount for the camera. Unfortunately, that mount has a uh, flaw. The bottom part of it has uh, broken away and the, camera, the phone no longer sits properly in the mount. Uh, I'll see about uh, fixing that and we'll get back to this.